So welcome people of God. Um, I want to share with you something that the Lord actually has been ministering to me for quite a while. And then today during my time with the Lord, the Lord started to bring it back up in my spirit. And it's something that, you know, I just really feel like I want to share with you, not feel like it's something that I know God wants me to share with you and that I really want you to hear, you know, with, with really spiritual ears and just have your heart and your mind and your soul set on hearing what I'm saying, right? I've said this before in my ministry, but there are a, there, there are people that God has assigned to me because of what I've been through. Um, and because of the oil and the anointing that's on my life, you know, there will be messages that people will hear that will resonate with them, but then there will be people that are assigned to me because of my struggles, because of my, my life and my warfare. And I believe that what I'm about to say is going to be for those people. Um, and this is also what I want to say, right? I spent a lot of time and this is why I say this. I spent a lot of time not knowing that I owned my victimization. I owned, I owned it. Like, like I, I felt validated in being a victim because I, I've been wronged. My life has sucked. Life has sucked. Things have happened. I was validated in not knowing it. Right. But I owned the fact that Yes, I'm suicidal. Yes, I'm I'm over 400 pounds. Yeah, because guess what? My life sucks, right? My childhood sucked, bad stuff happened, and my life sucked, and that's why I am the way that I am. And yeah, I hear all this other stuff, but guess what? My life sucks, and that's where I was. That's where I was. And so even when I wanted And I want you to hear me, right? Even when I wanted better, the validation of being a victim was like, but no, you're a victim and victims don't get married and victims don't have prosperity. No. So even when good stuff would manifest, it would almost disappear right in front of me. I I would, I would be like, okay, I thought I was over this thing. Why is this thing back? And it was always because the validation gave it access because, because you're a victim. Remember that's why it was why the children of Israel never, ever fully occupied Canaan. Never. It was David who fully occupied the shepherd boy who knew from day one. Oh God got me. It is that type of mindset that gets you into goodness. You can, you can chill in the wilderness for, and be good for a while. You can be in survival. You can live your whole life in survival mode. You can live your whole life in the wilderness, but it takes intentional, deliberate living to occupy the promised land. I promise you it does. It takes being completely yielded to the goodness of God. It takes knowing, listen, I don't care how much life did suck, how much life does suck. I don't want to be here. I don't care how right it is. I don't care how completely wrong it was for, for this stuff to be done to me. I'm moving past it. I'm not going to stay here. I refuse to stay here. It was that type of intentional living. It was, it did not take effort for me to be in sin. It did not take effort for me to be miserable. It did not take effort for me to be, I thought it did, but it really didn't. It took, it takes, let me just say effort for me to have joy. It takes effort for me to purposely say every single day of my life, life goes well for me. It takes effort because I promise you, and I know you know this, the God of this world, the prince of the air will do everything possible to show you, ah, 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 not for you, not for you. Look at your life. Look at you. Ah, ah, no, that life goes well stuff. She's saying, no, that's not you. That's not you. That, mm-mm, no, no. It takes, it takes intention to build a business. It takes intention to own being a wife, it, especially when life has shown you, ah, 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 not you, 
Not you, bro. Not you, sis. You've had too much going on. I am assigned to those type of people. Like, like those are my people because that was me. The enemy was always telling me it will be everybody but you. I could see somebody that could say, hey, I was just like you. And I would, I would see, okay, I'm just being honest here. I would see like back when infomercials was a thing, right? I would see infomercials and I would see women that weighed as much as I weighed. And they would say, this plan worked for me. $19.99. Okay, I got $19.99. I got three installments of $19.99, but it don't work for me. I had to learn that type of living was an inside job. So I could 100%, I could get good stuff to happen to me, but it would always be temporarily. It would always be temporary. I could never own it. Never. I could, I could, I could manifest a good job, but something's going to pop off. I could meet a dude, but it's not going to last. I might lose a pound here and there. I might get some money here and there, but it, living in it, which is what I'm doing now. That was me knowing Hear me, people of God. That was me knowing life goes well for me and my flesh and my feelings and no person and no witch and no demon and no circumstance is going to tell me otherwise. It's not. It takes, it takes like the tightest of all communion with God to walk. Like you need to, when I say that's why this is yielded, I purposely put yielded like that is why when I refer, it's not just yield, it's yielded. Like I'm glued to the ministry of God. I'm glued to Jesus. I'm glued to the blood. I'm glued to his name because outside of that, the enemy will just like, listen, just like in the garden, right? Here is God six days of all this effort, right? Six days of let there be light, six days of their sky and water. And now here you have a wife and now here's all this stuff, Adam. And in one swoop, here comes the serpent suggesting all of this isn't going to go away. You're not going to die just because you eat. Come on, just do a suggestion. You think the enemy is still not doing that level of suggestion? It's not going to work for you. Come on, look at your life. Look at you all these prophetic words and you still struggling all this fasting and so the devil is a liar the devil is a liar jesus says that listen jesus says when we abide in his word when we continue in his word when we stay in his word we will know the truth and the truth will make you free stay in the truth Abide in the truth. Life goes well for you. I'm telling you, occupancy of the promised land is now. Occupancy of the promised land is now, but it is not going to happen unless you live intentionally in the goodness of God. Not, not that wilderness stuff where we've been. Not that I hope so, Romania. I'm right there with you, sis. I see it. No, no, no. It is living in the fullness. It took effort. I've been doing good with this not crying. It took effort for me to not wallow in food or or some cute dude that said hello and not not laying out with him. It took effort. Because my flesh said, but you'll feel so good. You'll feel so good. Just be miserable. Come on, look at, look at life. You can't catch a break. Eat a chocolate cake. It'll make everything better. And that seems so silly, but there are people that run to that outside stuff because the enemy is saying, it's not going to get any better for you. The devil is a liar. <laughs> I am assigned to those people because I was that person. The devil is a liar. Life goes well for us. Life goes well for us. That is our truth all the time. Oh, and just for the record, let me say this and then I'm going to end the video. So I did make the shirts, right? I did make them. 
I made them days ago and I wasn't, I didn't think that the designs were good enough. And so I put the link in the about page on this channel, but I never announced it. So I'm going to tell you that that's where it's at. And more than anything, I want you to wear that decree. You know, it's not, it's not a fancy shirt, but it is the mandate of our life. And so, and I'm also going to try to put the link in this video, but, um, yeah, like intentional, like that's the word that God put in front of me, right? That, that is where we are, people of God, because again, occupancy of the promised land is right down. It, that's our portion. And either you're going to grab it and own it or keep it, or you're going to keep being validated in the fact that that's not me. 